Okay, so our next topic, after we did uh, fractions, and then we did decimals, and next is percent. And percent um, really isn't much different from a fraction or a decimal. It's actually both. A, a percent is a fraction and a decimal. A special type, though. A percent is a fraction out of 100. So let's take a look down here. Here we have three grids. Each grid is a 10 by 10 uh, grid. 10 by 10 meaning there are 100 squares. And this is saying that there are, trust me, you can pause it if you want and count on your own, but trust me, there are 90 red squares here. 90 of them are shaded out of the entire 100. How do you write 90 out of 100? Well, you can write it like a fraction like this, 90 out of 100. But like I just told you, the word percent means out of 100. So instead of saying 90 per cent like this, we can say it in a different form or write it in a different form, 90 with this little special percent sign. 90 percent, 90 percent, both say the same thing, just written different ways. Here, 47 percent, not quite 50, we're three short to get half of this grid filled in. 47% is 47 per percent. So that means 100. So 47 out of 100 is 47%. Over here, you have only nine squares shaded out of the entire 100. Nine out of 100, or you can say it is nine per cent. Nine percent, easy, isn't it? So converting a fraction like this into a percent is super easy because another way to read this is 30 per cent. Or you can write it like this. If it's over 100, the percent is just that same number. Here, 8%. The percent is just that number. It's over 100, so it's 8%. What if, though, the fraction we were dealing with was not out of 100, like this one over here? 6 per 10, per, yeah, what's the fancy word for 10, per dec, per deca. We want to know what this is in percent. Well, to know that, we need to know what this is out of 100. Can we change 10 into 100? Yes, we can. From fractions, you remember that 10 can become 100 because we can multiply this by 10 to get 100. Whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So 6 times 10 is 60. Now it's an easy one. 60 out of 100, 60%. 60 percent. 60 percent. 20 over 50. How do you convert 50 into 100? No problem. How do you get that? You times 50 by 2. Do the same to the top. 2 times 20 is 40. 40 percent is 40 percent. We have 25. How do you turn 25 into 100? Times by 4. 4 quarters is a dollar. Do the same to the top. 4 times 8, 32. 32 percent is 32 percent. What about 8 divided by 5? If you got 8 to 5 by 5 on a quiz, did you do good, really good, or really bad? I'd say you did really good. You did some bonus questions, probably. I'll show, you, I'll show you what I mean. How do you get 5 to be 100? Well, you times it by 20. You do the same to the top. 20 times 80, 2 times 80 is 16, add a 0. 160. 160 per cent. That's how you get 160%. You can actually have numbers over 100%. In that case, this kid got three bonus marks on their assignment after getting it all 100% complete, 160%. That's how you convert fractions to percents. How do you convert decimals to percent? Well, um, if you remember back, how would you convert this to a fraction? two ways. You could convert it one 
decimal one spot and that would give you six tenths but we want to make this into a percent and our percent is out of a hundred so what if we move this decimal two spots two spots which be 60 now over two zeros which is a hundred now we have our 60 over 100 which allows us to easily just say 60 percent so the trick when you go from a decimal number to convert it to a percent is because we want it over 100 is we want to move the decimal two spots to the right two spots to the right which is the same thing as multiplying it by 100 So for this question here, we have this decimal, we want to convert it to a percent, we move the decimal two spots to the right, which is the same thing as times it by 100. And 0 0.08 is a percent, if the decimals there is, 8%. Easy stuff. What if you have a percent and you want to convert it to a decimal? The other way around. Well, to go from a decimal to a percent, we went two spots to the right, or multiply it by 100. If you want to go the reverse direction, we'll do the reverse thing. Instead of moving two spots to the right, we'll move it two spots, the decimal it is, two spots to the left, which is not multiplying by 100, like it is up here. It's the reverse, which is dividing by 100. Well, what is 42%? Well, it means... 42 out of 100, which the old-fashioned way means, two zeros, two spots, 0 0.42. Do, do. Or to simply do what I just set up here, the decimal is here, we're going to move it two spots to the left, 1, 2, 0 0.42. 5 percent convert as a decimal, again you can first convert it to a fraction if you want, 5 out of 100 two spots, two zeros, or just realize that, yeah, anytime you move a percent to a decimal, you always move it two spots to the left. One, two. So it's 0 0.05. Okay, so let's review all this stuff and add some more. The way you convert to a fraction, from a fraction to a decimal, like we learned last day, was that you take a look at the number of zeros in the fraction, if you convert it over to a power of 10, the number of zeros is the number of spots you're going to move the decimal. If you're going from a decimal to a fraction, same thing, you look at the number of spots we have to move the decimal to make the number a whole number, and that's the number of zeros you'll have in the denominator. And like we just said, for decimals, you want to move them to a percent, you move it two spots to the right, and if you want a percent, you want to move it to a decimal, two spots to the left. These are quick, simple rules. We went through the full meaning of it before. Hopefully, you'll understand both. So, 0 0.90 as a decimal. How would you convert that to a fraction? Well, according to this, um, our old rule, we're going to move this, to make this a whole number, we have to move it two spots. The number of spots tells us the number of zeros we need. Two spots, two zeros. So we're going to have a number, a power of 10 with two zeros, which is 100, with a 90 on top. The fraction is 90 out of 100. I'm going to be, re be relaxed about reducing it. We'll just leave it as 90 out of 100. Now, as a percent, is it easier to go from a decimal to a percent or a fraction to a percent? For me, and I guess for most of us, it's really easy to go, if your fraction is out of 100, to get 90%, 90 out of 100, just call it 90%. Going from fraction to percent. Or, the rules that went up above, when you have a decimal, you want to convert it to a percent, you move it two spots to the right. Move the decimal two spots to the right, one, two, you get 90. All right. What about five over 10? How would you convert that to a decimal? Or to a percent? You can go any way you want. I'm going to go fraction to a decimal. We have number of zeros tells you the number of spots we move the decimal. We have one zero, so we'll move this decimal one spot to the left, 0 
You want to move this now decimal to a percent. We'll move it two spots to the right. One, two, put a zero there, it's 50%. Or you could have just saw five, five tenths to make that into a <clears throat> fraction over 100. We times by 10, times by 10, you get 50, 50 out of 100 to 50%. Either way, there's lots of ways to do this. 1%. How do you convert a percent to a decimal? Well, you don't really have to convert it to a decimal first. What you could do is convert it to a fraction, which is really easy. 1% means 1 per cent, being 100. And then we can use our trick of how to count the number of zeros. We're going to count the number of zeros. That tells us how many spots we move the decimal. Two zeros, two spots. 0 0.01. Or again, we could have taken the percentage, moved it two spots to the left to get our decimal. One, two, gives us 0 0.01. What if you have something that will not easily become a decimal? One eighths. In this case, you're going to have to use long division. Remember how we do this? The, it's one divided by eight. That line also means divided by. So you have on the side we can do this 8 going into 1, and we fill it up with zeros, put a decimal there. 8 goes into there once, doesn't go into there properly. 8 goes into 10 once. It gives you 8. Subtract the 2. 10 minus 8, you get 2. Bring down a 0, you get 20. 8 goes into 20 how many times? Uh, it goes in twice to give you 16. 8 times 2 is 16. You subtract, you get 4. Bring down the 0. You get 5. i got to talk fast. Eight time, what times 5 gives you 40? 5 does. So our decimal is 0 0.125. Converting this into a percent. Move it two spots to the right. Like it says here, decimal to percent, two spots to the right, it's 12.5%. 1.75, converting that into percent or fraction. You can pick whatever way you're, you want to do it. I'm going to first convert this to a fraction. The number of spots, make it a whole number, two spots, two zeros. So 175 over power of 10 with two zeros, 175 over 100, which is the same thing as 175 per cent. So it's 175 per cent. Or we could have done it this way, move it to two, two spots to the right, it was 175. 175 as a percent is 175 over 100. Lots of ways to do it. Anyways, here's your skill testing questions. Uh, if you could do these Three-fifths, 0.87, 0.51. Good luck with that. Talk to you later. Bye.